Hey there, fellow humans. Have you ever had a moment where you wished someone could just read your mind and know exactly what you were thinking? What? Hell no! Well, guess what? Thanks to the latest breakthroughs in artificial intelligence, that might actually be possible. Recently, researchers from Stanford University, the National University of Singapore, and the Chinese University of Hong Kong have made strides in developing AI that can read our minds. This is getting out of hand. Yes, you heard that right. They used a machine learning algorithm to decode brain signals and predict what people were thinking about. In this video, we're going to explore the findings of this study and discuss the potential implications of this mind-reading technology. And of course, we'll do it in a funny way because, well, who wants to be serious all the time, right? Make it funny would be great mm -hmm. if you could make it funny. So buckle up, put on your thinking caps, and let's dive into the wild world of AI mind reading. Just don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed or learned something. Hit the notification bell and subscribe. It's free. I'm already subscribed. New subscriber, master. Oh, you want more details on how these sneaky scientists were able to read people's minds using AI? Buckle up, because this is some wild stuff. First things first, the researchers had to collect data on the participants' brain activity. How did they do that, you ask? Well, they had the participants wear an electroencephalogram, EEG cap, while they were shown various pictures. That's right, they strapped a bunch of electrodes to people's heads and flashed pictures at them. Talk about a wild Saturday night. Next. The researchers used an AI model called MindViz to generate images based on the participants' thoughts. How did they do that? Well, the MindViz model was trained on a data set of thousands of images and their corresponding EEG readings. Basically, the AI model learned to associate certain EEG patterns with certain types of images. But that's not all. The AI model was also trained on data from the participants in the study. So not only did the researchers get to look inside people's brains, they also used that information to teach an AI model to do the same thing. It's like the ultimate game of telephone. But instead of passing along whispers, they're passing along brain waves. And let's not forget the best part. The images that the AI generated based on the participants' thoughts were, well, let's just say they weren't exactly Picasso-level masterpieces. In fact, some of the images were downright bizarre. One participant thought of a hand holding a phone and the AI model generated an image that looked like a strange, squiggly blob. Another participant thought of a bird, and the AI model generated an image that looked like a deranged chicken crossed with a pterodactyl. All in all, it's pretty mind-blowing. Pun intended. To think that scientists can use AI to read our thoughts. But before we start worrying about a future where our every thought is broadcast to the world, let's remember that this technology is still in its early stages. Who knows what kind of hilarious and weird images we'll get when they perfect it. That's not scary, right? Ah, the moment we've all been waiting for, the results of the study. So the AI model, MindViz, was able to generate images based on the participants' thoughts. But how did the images turn out? Well, let's just say that the results were mind-boggling. The images generated by the AI model were compared to the original images shown to the participants. And guess what? The AI model was able to match the original photo's attributes and overall theme 84% of the time. That's right, folks. The AI model was almost as good as humans at guessing what the participants were thinking. Now you might be thinking, wow, that's amazing. We can finally read minds. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. But hold on just a second. We're not quite there yet. As with any new technology, there are limitations. For example, the study only used a small number of participants, and the images generated by the AI model were limited to a set of predefined categories. Plus, let's not forget that this technology is still in its early stages of development. It's kind of like when you first start dating someone. You might be really excited about the potential, but you also know that there's a lot of work to be done before things can really take off. So, while the results of the study are definitely promising, we still have a long way to go before we can accurately read minds using AI technology. But hey, who knows what the future holds? Maybe one day we'll be able to use AI to predict what our friends and loved ones are thinking without them even having to say a word. And maybe we'll even be able to use it to predict the weather accurately. I mean, come on, meteorologists, get your act together. Until then, we'll just have to settle for good old-fashioned communication and the occasional game of charades. Now let's talk about the potential applications of this technology. 
The possibilities are endless and quite exciting, if you ask me. Just imagine being able to control your computer or send messages just by thinking. Talk about some real mind-blowing stuff. That does sound mind-blowing. One of the most promising applications of this technology is in the field of medicine, particularly in neuroscience and psychology. This technology could be used to help people with neurological disorders communicate through their thoughts, which would be a massive breakthrough. For example, individuals with ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or other diseases that affect their ability to move or speak, could potentially use this technology to communicate their thoughts and needs without relying on their body's limitations. But that's not all. The potential impact on communication and technology could be game-changing. Imagine being able to write an email or text message without even lifting a finger. Find me up! I'm in! Talk about convenience! I mean, sure, you might look like you're staring blankly at a screen to an outsider, but who cares when you're getting stuff done with your mind, right? The potential applications of this technology are vast, and we're just scratching the surface. With further development, who knows what else we could achieve? Maybe one day we'll be able to control robots, cars, or even our homes with just our thoughts. Now that's a future I'm excited to see. Of course, we must also be aware of the limitations of this technology. What limitations that those limitations... We're still in the early stages of development, and there's a lot we don't know. We need to continue researching and refining this technology to ensure that it's safe, reliable, and accurate. But hey, if this technology does eventually become a reality, at least we'll never have to worry about typing with our clumsy fingers again. Well, that's a wrap, folks. Today we talked about the incredible and slightly terrifying concept of AI being able to read our minds. We discussed the recent study by researchers from Stanford, NUS, and Seaway Tech, which used an AI model called MindViz to generate images based on participants' thoughts. We explored the methodology of the study, the results, and the potential applications of this technology. While the idea of being able to control a computer or communicate through our thoughts is exciting, we must also acknowledge the limitations of this technology. It's still in its early stages, and there's a lot of work to be done before we can even begin to think about integrating it into our daily lives. But hey, who knows what the future holds? Maybe in a few years we'll be able to control our smartphones just by thinking about them. Or maybe we'll finally be able to have a conversation with that one friend who never stops talking. In any case, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Do you think mind-reading AI is the future? Or should we focus on other areas of research? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos on the latest in technology and science.